Hey everybody, welcome back to our series on learning uh, how to use the MyTennisStatsApp.com website. Uh, last time we covered the dashboard, today we are going to cover the Matches tab. So we'll go ahead and sign in here with the account I created. Uh, here's the dashboard from last time. Uh, we've seen how to use the uh, stats for last five matches toggle. Uh, today we're going to use matches. Uh, from here you can see um, we're showing the match data for all players. Uh, you can go ahead and, and filter this if you'd like. Uh, if you want to show just Ryan's match data, uh, you can see just that match. Um, but for now we're, we're just going to leave it as all players. Um, you can see the scores for Kunal for his three matches. Um, and if you want to see the detailed stats, you just go ahead and click on the charts button here. Uh, we're going to look at the data for Kunal. Um, and we can see the overall match statistics. Uh, the screen's pretty similar to the, uh, the dashboard screen that showed you uh, the stats over the last five matches. Um, there is a bit more detail. Uh, for these ratios, um, so we can go ahead and look at the uh, we'll look at the baseline ratio. Uh, breaks it down by set, uh, so you can see Kunal's baseline ratio for first set, second set, third set overall. Um, and we're gonna, if you want to dig in deeper, we can go ahead and look at the uh, the court view. Uh, we'll look at it for the second set. Uh, again, this is for Kunal. Uh, so these are where his unforced errors occurred. A uh, couple, couple of them wide, a few in the net, and uh, the winner that he hit. Um, if we go back again. Unfortunately, we have to go back this way to charts. Um, cannot use your back button uh, as it does not work currently. It's something that's in progress, uh, being worked on. Um, Something to note about, about these ratios, um, the left side of the ratio is uh, winners and forced errors. Uh, the right side of the ratio is unforced errors. Um, so that's a, that's a difference that we make versus uh, like IBM or, or some of the pro stats is uh, forced errors and unforced errors. Um, we consider a forced error a positive stat for the person hitting it. Um, if I hit a fantastic shot that my opponent gets the racket on so it's not a winner but they don't really have a chance of getting that ball back in play that's a positive stat for me so that would go down as a forced error for me um, if my opponent hits an easy ball to the middle of the court that I plant into the bottom of the net that's obviously an unforced error that's a negative stat for me so that's how we kind of differentiate between forced and unforced errors um, so that uh, hopefully explains the ratios a little bit more. Um, dive back in here. Um, so these these links up at the top are pretty similar to the to the links uh, that we saw with the dashboard. Um, one of the new ones. Well, we'll go back into the serves. Uh, this is obviously very similar to the one you saw before, except it's for only this match. So you can see it serves in the net. Uh, we can do all the same uh, filtering that we used before. Um, the momentum graph is the new link here that we haven't seen before and this can tell you at any point during the match who's got the momentum. Um, so top is is uh, Kunal, uh, bottom is his opponent. Um, you can see uh, trends, uh, a lot of coaches say three points in a row uh, constitutes a momentum swing uh, so you can easily see that. Um, this line here is the end of the set, so Kunal had the momentum um, and then steadily progressed to the end of the match. Um, so that's, that's about it for the, uh, for the matches tab. Um, like I said, it's pretty similar to the dashboard, except it's for only an individual match. Uh, you can drill down pretty deep into the statistics. Uh, we're working on being able to show uh, some of the statistics like you can see in the in the app uh, with the baseline ground stroke winners errors um, you know all the different types of shots and everything so that will be coming uh, hopefully uh, hopefully here in the next uh, couple weeks uh, we'll have an update on that 
Um, but that's about it for using the matches tab. Um, next, next time, uh, go ahead and talk about the stats and charts and maybe the settings all together. Thanks. Talk to you soon.